hello my eyes watering flipping hay fever hello good morning and welcome to today's upload my name is emma make sure you stick around i do weekly vlogs and hauls and chats and all sorts of fun stuff and today i am back with an upload because like most of the world we haven't been going anywhere and this weekend we decided to book um so in england uh my, the whole of the uk we have a brand of hotels called the premier room let me know if you have it in your part of the world. Just a nice hotel, moderate hotel I'd say, um, but it's my little boy's favourite hotel in the whole world. He loves going to a Premier Inn. We don't know why. It's nice and clean, you know, there'll just be two big double beds. We'll just, can all be together and we're going to um, Cheltenham, which is really nice and it's just about 50 minutes to an hour away from Birmingham. So not far, we booked in for a couple of nights. Um, we Now we can eat inside, we can have a buffet, not a buffet, I think we can have like a breakfast where you ask for food. Usually like a big buffet, but this time I think you can go, well Steve will be like, I'll have 15 sausages. So we are going there for a couple of nights. Um, also booked a Lido tomorrow. Um, a Lido is like a big outdoor swimming pool, if you've not heard of one before, and they've got one in Cheltenham, and it's supposed to be like 24, 25, 26 degrees this weekend, which is hot for England. I know, compared to like Florida and places, that's not hot, but it is hot for England. So, I booked that last week, um, it was £16 for the four of us, and we just get an hour in an outdoor pool, which is like, not what you do in England, because England... Is generally freezing so I'm really looking forward to that but I reckon like many of the parents across the UK we've all realized that our children don't have enough summer clothes and you know me I like to keep their shorts for a couple of years um, and the ones that Erin had from I mean it must have been the last time we went to Florida which wasn't last year it was the year before she's put them on this week and they are very short they fit around the waist very short and she feels a bit uncomfortable in them. She's like trying to pull them down. And then a lot of the t-shirts I've got off for some unknown reason. We've talked about this many times on this channel. For some unknown reason, people like to do crop tops for girls and hot pants. I don't get it. So she's got like, she feels the t-shirts are too short and the shorts are too short. She's just all uncomfortable. So I picked up some summer bits and pieces from Sainsbury's. Um, usually they have 25% off ever so often, but it was such a panic. I had to look just, Go and pay. I couldn't wait for the 25%. So I'll just show you some of the bits and bobs I got. I actually got these for Ethan as well. Um, they've got an adjustable waist. So for a two pack, um, £12, nice blue one, and some orange ones, which he will love. And then this t shirt, I think this is probably like a unisex set. So this will be good for Ethan when Erin grows out of them. Orange, yellow, white, and like a pale blue. And they are not cropped they're just normal t-shirts so i know she'll really really i can see steve putting some washing on the line i know she'll really appreciate those she's not a fan of the cropped up ones because erin's the kind of um i've got hair on the camera erin's the kind of girl that likes climbing up trees and doing cartwheels and just and if you've got crop tops and stuff it's not great is it i also got her this which i thought was really nice this is nine pound just like a little throw on um, jumpsuit. She loves these, super comfy. And these are really great for say, if you're having like a barbecue and like you go in someone's garden and they want to go in and out of puddling pools, but they still want to look quite nice. They can throw this over the top, I really like that. Um, we are going on a Disney cruise this summer holiday, fingers crossed, all goes to plan, we hope. Um, and I saw these and I thought these would be great for Erin on the Disney cruise. Um, just some nice polka dot little shorts, which would look fun with like a little, you know, mini ears and the top. And then I've picked up some shorts. She's really loving. Ethan's got loads of shorts. He, I got him some sets. Where did I get him? Was it Primark? I got him, oh, HM, I can't remember. He's got quite a few pairs of shorts. Um, he could probably do with a couple more um but i got these women so she's loving the lycra shorts because they're a bit longer she can wear a long sleeve t-shirt and i thought this set was really nice 10 pound for three like tie-dye these are just like her vibe vibe as 10 year olds say 
and then I got these and I'm hoping <sighs> this is a pack of five um, and I'm hoping these are not too short on her um, just some nice little shorts with like a little thing at the bottom which is cool with a little t-shirt just throw them on go to the park so there's my panic summer buys um i also got some sliders the past week um did we get ethan ethan got something from i bought ethan did i in the costco some t-shirts in the costco hall if you've not seen that go and check that out and now i'm going to get you to come pack with me but the first joy is i said stephen um well no steven said i'm gonna go and get the cases out and you know we've got that storage in our top top office so the case is right at the back and i was like right get two out because then when we go on our next little british holiday we've got the cases at the front you don't have to take out and he came down with a cardboard box and went look what i've just found and at some point i bought an american tourist suitcase and i think We've got a few of these ones, and I think the Captain America one broke. And then I must have ordered this one, kept it in the box. It's got um, like a vintage mini on it, it's really cute. Kept it in the box because I think last year, obviously, the Disney holiday was cancelled, so I was just like, just keep it in the box. And then we found it. It's a good job I didn't buy those ones. We you know we saw them in Costco the other day. So, really pleased. Right, I will show you how I pack for my family. I love doing activities that you can come along with me because you keep me company. Here we go. Here's how I like to pack. Um, I, if you've watched my packing videos before, I pack in outfits because I find that very easier. Very easier. Come on, Emma. Learn how to speak proper English. Um, so I just pack an outfit with the underwear, like any kind of accessory that might go with it. Uh, as I said, we're only going for a couple of days. I'm packing two outfits. So she's, this is the outfit she's going to go in. Sunglasses, headband, shoes, a coat, even though it's quite warm. This is one outfit. And then this is a, another outfit. I'm going to pack a hat. And Ethan's got this hat as well. Pajamas and a swimming costume. I'm also gonna take the outfits that I got today and pack one more because I always like an outfit because with children they'll drop an ice cream down themselves or they'll spill a whole orange juice over their trousers while they're drinking their you know having their breakfast. So always pack a spare outfit that is vital for the children. I've got the same over here, an outfit and um, with underwear pajamas i'm going to get another outfit from the shorts and stuff that i just bought swimming drinks sunglasses i need to find ethan's ethan's wardrobe oh it's the bane in my life oh da -da, straight the top ethan's hat it's going to be really sunny um here's his little outfit today i put them in kind of what i would class as like a smart outfit in case you want to go for food tonight it's just nice because we haven't really been anywhere. I'm not sure the children have actually eaten inside somewhere yet since last year. So they've both got kind of like a nice outfit. I'm wearing like a jumpsuit so we can go out and have some food or a nice drink. This is not coming with us. <laughs> Ethan's packed a bag. Um, I mean, he's packed a giant blanket. It's really hot. Blanket teddy. We will take tablet and headphones for in the car and also if they wake up early in the morning and they just want to you know watch some stuff so that's him done nearly just the one extra right fit to get then over here apologies for my big giant pants i've got two outfits as well belts um i've got a different pair of sunglasses that goes with both of these outfits a different pair of sandals to the one i'm wearing today Hair dry, straightener, makeup, makeup brushes, um, just some jewellery. I've got my pyjamas and my brand new, like kind of 1950s um, swimming costume. I'm sure I will post some sort of photo on Instagram to show you. It's from the website EMP, which I have not used before. I'm not making this look very nice, but it is nice. 
it's got like a little skirt and I thought this would be perfect for Disney holidays and as you know I keep my swimming costumes for a million years and also I'm pe um, packing a spotty one for my girl and I will be keeping an eye out for some spotty trunks for my boy so we can have them all together. Going upstairs. Um, oh there's my new sneak peek of my Disney stuff uh, for my small shop that I will be selling hopefully next week up here oh this is quite heavy actually this is my favorite little bag I'll show you when we get downstairs this is called a bago I got it off Amazon and it's great for going away on holidays like because what you do is Oh, it's got all sorts of bits and pieces in there, like plugs and bubbles. I'll sort that out. You can hang it up in your bathroom. It's got areas for all, you know, toiletries and ooh, hairspray, plugs. Not sure when I last used this. Um, and then on the side, you can put like toothbrushes. Um, and it's just really handy. In it, we have like paracetamol. I'm going to have to check that that's in date. We we'll have bubbles, plasters all like the kid the family's toiletries there is an awful lot of plugs in here <laughs> so i will go and get my little miniatures oh my gosh it's so thrilling to get my um my little box of miniatures out again i can't believe them oh i just feel so grateful that we get to go there's all dust on them because it's just been so long so i'm going to go through here and pick what i want to take i'm going to take this little shine mist Oh, shine, yeah, to protect my hair. I suppose don't need that. Um, I'm gonna take that to take my eye makeup off. I'm gonna take that to wash my face. <gasps> that to tone my face. I need some, like a, a little shower gel. What's that? What's after sun? Shall I put that in? Maybe we might need some after sun. I mean, I'm acting like we're going to flip in Hawaii. I'll take some moisturiser. Um, I like this moisturiser. I'll take that moisturiser. I'll take... Well, I'm going to take this moisturiser for my face because it's SPF 15. Okay, I've got a bag with towels in that we can take to the Lido. I've got... Oh, a little sneak peek there. I was like, this is this was one of my bags that is was a um one that we needed to change the colours a bit. So and here I've put snacks in. These are pennies, pick and mix that they bought a few weeks ago so they can have them in the whole hotel room when we watch a film or something. And just some food. I've got another little sneak peek for them. I'm gonna take that so I can have a nice cup of tea. Um just got to finish the toiletry there. Okay got toiletries putting in all day this is a great all day suntan lotion um, that we're using the kids but you we use this in america as well florida um put it on in the morning i will say oh come on zoom in you have to put it on before you go out and you have to kind of wait for it to dry which is quite hard sometimes with children you're like stop moving and then Stephen and i use like a um just like a nice spray one but I think I'm probably going to use that one put this in we're going to take the pirate on as well because the kids seem to have acquired hay fever which is a bit rubbish right I'm going to pack everything in there now okay so we have an adults and toiletry side we have a kid so all their outfits oh somebody's let me put her on silent my friends what's up in me a little story so and she likes to whatsapp a sentence a message <laughs> um so we're gonna finish off with the toiletries in there everything's in here this as i say is just two days um when we go to like florida we kind of have one of these big cases each no we have two big cases and two small ones but i usually when we're on a big holiday i have like actual packets that i pack like pants in and and you just pull them out and put them in the drawers, they're brilliant, but of course today, we won't even unpack. I'm sure we'll just, I might hang my dresses up, but I'm sure we'll just, uh, I'm sure we'll just leave out the suitcase. 
I just said to Stephen, I feel weird. I feel excited, but also sick. And I don't know why. I just feel a bit strange. I'm going to have to have a cup of tea and just a, a calm down before we go. I just feel... weird. Because we haven't... We went to Brighton, didn't we? We haven't been anywhere since Brighton. So that was August. So we're coming up to a year, so I suppose... You know, that is kind of like a normal feeling to be staying somewhere else. Um, God knows what it'll be like when we actually go away, <laughs> away, away. But yeah, I just feel a little bit strange. Let me know if any of you have managed to get away. What's it like in your part of the world? Um, yeah, so packed, got towels, got snacks, packed my own tea bags because you know I like to have a nice cup of decaf tea. Um, the hotel's by a Wilco, Stephen said, so... If all else fails, we can go pop to a Wilco's. <laughs> it's not like we're going to the middle of nowhere. We've got the clothes. It's going to be sunny this weekend. I'm going to have... I've got an hour to have to get the kids. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Relax. Then we're going to pick up the kids, bring them back. Um, get them changed. Get all the bags. Probably give them some, a snack or something to eat before we get on the road. And then we're going to go. Exciting! And also a bit weird. And just like that, we're back. Um, hopefully you followed our Cheltenham adventures on Instagram. I didn't film this weekend because it was like our first little proper holiday in a while. Um, but we've got a few adventures in the summer, so I'll definitely be filming those. Um, we're back home now. Stephen's downstairs watching the England match. You will know how they got on. I have no idea at the moment. It's nil-nil. I just come back, open all the windows, my peonies in my garden are all bloomed and look gorgeous and I have this to contend with and I'm not the kind of person that likes to leave bags everywhere. Let me know in the comments, do you like to leave bags or let me sit down. It's very warm. So hot. I think it's like 26, 27. And come on guys, even if you live in hot countries, you've got to admit that is quite hot. Um, I'm not the kind of person that likes to leave bags um, packed for ages. I like to unpack. Let me know what you like to do. I think if maybe I was, if it was just Stephen and me or just me, maybe I would leave it a bit longer because the kids are here and you don't want a case of random people bump into it. So I'll show you how. I unpack, packing and unpacking in the blink of a second. So now I'm unpacking. So when we go on holiday, um, I always do the packing. Uh, Stephen does choose his own clothes, but I always do the packing. When we come back, we have one side that is clean stuff and that can just be hung back up. And um, because I always take spare outfits, there's always generally clean clothes. And then the other side, um, we have dirty clothes and water bottles um so what i will do first of all is i will take all the dirty clothes and we've got some towels because we went to a lido and i will put them out and they can be i'll put a pile of coloreds and a pile of whites um so that's what i will do first so i've got the whites here well yeah i mean i know they've got a bit of blue but like the light ones here and the coloreds here and then i will Go and put a load of washing on. It's really nice outside, so hopefully it will dry really quick. So I like to get the washing on straight away. I don't know. I haven't even had a drink or anything. I came in, you'll see, over there. I water on my plants. So I thought, it's been so hot, my babies need water. So we'll put the coloured on. Next, I'm going to empty this. I'll put all of Stephen's stuff in one little pile. But I'm going to leave some of the stuff in, like there's two bushes and things because we are going away in what five weeks for our little british holiday um so i can leave the stuff in and then it will all be packed i need that i need that purities um children are suffering from a bit of hay fever i tell you what i did have um if you follow me on Instagram, you know that stephen's been snoring and because we're all in the same room together it was all so noisy. So he went and got me some of these from Boots and they're the best earplugs I've ever had. So I'm definitely going to pack. It comes like a little 
case, but I don't know how you fit it in the case. It's not like it fits, is it? Um, so I'm going to take those. We're going on our next holiday. I think that's pretty much everything. Also, I had this little sample. It's called Daisy Love. I've got the perfume I wear is one of the Daisy's, but this is the nicest perfume. I it smells like holiday, so I think I'm gonna treat myself to an actual big one. It's so it just reminded me of I don't know what it reminds you know when you smell something and it feels like home. I don't know, it's beautiful. it was beautiful. So next payday, I'm gonna treat myself to a bottle of perfume. Kimmy. Could you hear Stephen singing? England just scored. <laughs> So we've just put a load of um, the colours on. I've put the kids' clean clothes away. I'm about to put my toiletries away. Um, I have thought, I was gonna say something like, I've thought long and hard about this, but this is just not a serious thing. Looked at my makeup and foundation, all that looks fine, but my palettes are years old. And we're talking. I don't know when I got them, so I think I think I'm gonna have to invest in. It can't be good. Let's see, let's see one of the ones that I was wearing that I thought this is. So this has has a 12 month life span. Once you open it, I mean it's been years. It's been years. And I don't think putting four-year-old makeup on your face is good. As I say, my foundation is fine. Everything else is fine. But the eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to have to get some new ones. And I might bring you on that journey with me. Leave your suggestions below. I have got a couple of Morphe palettes. Um, not James Charles. Because if you... Or Jeffree Star or whatever. Because they're not in... They're not... They're not good people. So I've not got those, um, I've just got plain ones. And I know this is niche, but if any of you, we did mention it before, if any of you watch Frenemies, what do you think about the Trisha, Ethan, Fallout? I'm devastated. It's Sunday today and I'm hoping that they do a podcast together again tomorrow, but I don't think they will. But I have faith that they will, but I don't think they will. So I'm going to put my makeup away and there was one... Last thing I wanted to show you before I went. If you are new here, I absolutely love mugs, big mugs. I've got like a big mug kind of, well, I've got my own big mug range, which has come in. I hopefully should be, I keep saying hopefully should be next week, but there was a bit of a issue. It's quite hard to get the large mugs printed. It's a whole thing. Let's not worry about that. Keep your eyes peeled. And um, we don't have an anthropology in Birmingham. Why not? Birmingham, we deserve an anthropology, but we don't have one. So I picked up two new mugs and they made me so happy. There's this one. Can we see? It says, make your own magic. And it's got a rainbow and it's like yellow and it's beautiful. And it's like that kind of texture that I love. And then there's this one. Kindness binds us. And I just loved it. Um, a little rainbow in it. And I just thought they were gorgeous. They're going to look really nice on my shelves. Um, then like, this one's nice and big. This one will be nice for like, might I have like a small cup of tea before I go to bed. So that would be really nice for that. So I always like to treat myself to a little, a little mug or something when we go away. It's like a little memory. And there we go. Um, yeah, if any of you live in the Midlands and are thinking of a mini break, Cheltenham is lovely. Uh, on my Insta stories, you might have seen me went to a Lido, which was really nice. £16 for a family of four for an hour, so that was really, really fun. Um, oh, I think I've got ice cream on my dress. <laughs> um, I will definitely take you on our next kind of big um, family holiday, but I hope you enjoyed this little kind of hybrid Sainsbury's Hall, packing, unpacking. England just scored, so everybody's happy. I'm going to finish unpacking my makeup and then I'm going to put on. Oh, I got some um, for £3, I got some black cycling shorts 
from Primark that I want to wear because I've got a few dresses that are short and if I wear my chub rub shorts, the chub rub shorts are a bit see-through so you can see your pants but these are, you can't see your pants. So if you're looking, if you're looking for like chub rub shorts or just cycling shorts, I've got an XL3, this is three euro, maybe it wasn't three pound, maybe like two pound fifty or something from Primark so they're really good to so keep your eyes peeled for those black. Um, it'd be great if, I wonder if they do them in other colours I should have looked so that means I can wear my nice spotty frock on the school run tomorrow and not worry that a gust of wind will show my pants to all the children right guys I love you lot and I will see you in another few days for an upload night guys